Welcome everybody. On this video, I will show you an exclusive and the most effective method to rebuild the boot configuration data or BCD file automatically, in Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8, or any Windows edition. Usually, the BCD can be rebuilt manually from command prompt if there is a simple BCD corruption using the general method as shown. But if the BCD partition is missing or infected by a virus or if the rebuilding commands failed for any reason, you have to use the automatic batch file to get rid of all possible errors by just one click. Before showing how to do that, you have to know what is the BCD and what are the most common errors that indicate the BCD corruption. The BCD is a settings file that contains the necessary information required by Windows operating system to boot normally. If it is corrupted or missing, your computer will fail to boot with this error, your PC slash device needs to be repaired, followed by one of the following blue screen error messages. The boot configuration data file doesn't contain valid information for an operating system. Error code, 0xc0000098, or 0xc0000034, or 0xc0000000BB, or 0xc000014C. Also you may get this error message. The boot configuration data for your PC is missing or contains errors. Error code, 0xc000000F. In case of missing system or EFI partition, you may see the following error message. A required device is not connected or can't be accessed. Other examples of BCD related errors that may appear while trying to rebuild BCD are. The boot configuration data store could not be opened. The requested system device cannot be found. BFS VC error, could not open the BCD template store. The system cannot find the path specified or element not found when executing boot rec rebuild BCD command. Failure when attempting to copy boot files, or failure when initializing library system volume. All mentioned boot failures, BCD rebuild errors and all other BCD problems can be solved easily and safely using my auto batch file. Let's starting with first part to show you how to boot into advanced recovery menu. If the windows recovery was enabled and intact before boot failure, your computer will reboot into automatic repair menu. From this menu, click on advanced option. Select troubleshoot option and then select advanced options. If the computer reboot into recovery menu with option to enter recovery environment like this, press F1 or F8 or another key to boot into recovery menu. Both of those scenarios are true only if the BCD corruption is simple, but in most cases, you can't boot into recovery environment if the BCD file is missing or severely corrupted, or if the Windows recovery is disabled or corrupted too. In such cases, you have to boot from a bootable USB in order to repair the BCD. See video description below to learn how to create a bootable USB in mobile and how to boot from it. Second part, how to rebuild the BCD. To rebuild the BCD using my automatic batch file, do the followings. Download the batch file from the link in video description using your mobile or in another computer. Extract the downloaded file into your mobile. Connect a USB drive to your mobile and then copy the extracted folder into the USB. Connect the USB to your computer and open command prompt. Type disk part and press enter. Type list vol and press enter. See if there is any volume without assigned letter and select it using cell vol followed by the volume number. Assign any free letter that is not assigned to another volume using this command. Assign letter equals followed by the desired letter. Repeat previous two steps to assign a free letter to all volumes that don't have a letter. Press up arrow key from keyboard to explore and use previous commands. Type exit and press enter to leave the disk part. Type notepad and press enter. From file tab, select open option. Click on this PC and then locate the USB drive. Open the USB drive and then open VM text BCD folder. Change files of type option to all. Right click on auto rebuild BCD by VM text file and then select run as administrator. If there is a separated system or EFI partition for the BCD in your computer, the auto batch will locate and then format it. After that, it will rebuild the BCD and enable the recovery environment. But you will be asked to add Windows installation to the BCD. Type Y or Yes to confirm addition of the identified Windows into the BCD data. If you have two or more operating systems installed in your computer, type A to add all identified operating systems to the BCD file. If not sure, Type Y or Yes to add the identified Windows installation that has backslash Windows path only, and ignore the Windows that has a Windows.old on its path by typing N and pressing Enter. In Windows 10 or older Windows with MBR disk scheme or legacy firmware, the boot configuration data or BCD file may be stored in the Windows partition. In such case, the CMD script will rebuild the BCD without formatting the partition. 
This successful message indicates that the BCD rebuilt successfully, and this one indicates that the recovery environment enabled successfully. Press any key to close the CMD window. Now, close all open tabs and then click on continue to restart your system. If you still have a blue screen error after a successful rebuild using auto batch file, then the problem is not related to the BCD, so you have to identify the new error message and error code to know what is the source of new blue screen boot loop. Always read the video description and comments to see if there is any new update or modification for the method. If you need additional help, feel free to add your question in a comment, and we'll do our best to help you. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a comment and subscribe.